want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the general um, reading for the quarter. It's a very, very beautiful quarter, ladies and gentlemen. There's no question about it. The quarter is the energy of the star. Um, and the star, oh my God, that is the energy of this quarter, the energy of the star, okay? And the so amazing thing um, that is transpiring, and I don't see the eye princess comes up. She changes her position and give up for the energy of the lover. So some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out about the lover. But um, this quartel um, is the energy of the star. It is uh, um, absolutely fa fantastic. It's about communication and it's about uh, you finding um, inspiration, communication and inspiration. I love the energy of the star for a quarter because um, it gives you inspiration. Um, this is going to be because we're going into Aquarius and we can see this happening at this last three months that the ship is really um, and that all of the people is going in um, the ship of Aquarians. Now, the star is always about healing, communication, and inspiration, okay? And this is what this quarter is all is, is all going to be about. But what is happening, and it's transpiring here also, is that whatever issues, whatever situation you were open to resolve is going to be um, transforming, okay? So be aware of this. It is also... Um, a time of recognition okay so um success recognition okay just success and recognition it's a period where success and recognition is going to be coming in and sometimes even fame okay so this is good um and this is a general reading please remember to like and share these reading I advise people to um watch the general reading also after they're finished watching their star sign um, because more information will be coming up in the general readings, okay? So, um, the energy of the star is here, and it is going to be good, and it's going to be a lot of things to do with public, okay? So, be aware of this. Uh, entertainment, okay? Receptionists and that sort of a people. Um, people who are in the entertainment, and people who are receptionists could be, and salespeople, okay? It's a good time for salespeople. Waitresses, um, so it's a good time. People who work with the public is a is a very good time. Okay, it's a good time of making money, and um, this is a possible for this end of the year. So, um, whoever is in clothing and jewelry and that sort of a situation, perfumes and that sort of a situation, just salespeople, all different types of salespeople. This is really a really positive uh, alliance of energy for you guys in this three months. So make the best of it. Uh, um, uh, yeah, television, radio, and internet, uh, newspaper, magazine, blogs, uh, and that sort of a thing. It is a profound good time where, um, some of you fame, you could become very famous. Uh, that sort of a situation could be coming up. So be aware of that. It is really a positive alignment of energy. So, um, in numerotic, uh, numerotic, um, we break down the numbers. Now, 17 is eight and what is the energy of eight um it is about uh yeah hate is about stability um in a strength okay um so um a lot of you um needs and will find some sort of an inner strength inner strength find patient and inner strength okay so be aware of that also so i see um you need to find inner strength um, for some people, okay? And you're going to be finding out who um, needs to find inner strength because it's going to be coming up. I see a lot of you, your burdens are going to be over in this third quarter. Whatever is happening and transpiring, I see definitely your burdens definitely are going to be over in this third quarter. And this is going to be um, very good and very exciting because your burdens 
are definitely going to be over and this is going to be positive so positive alignment of energy that is going to be coming up and is going to be shedding light on certain situations that, that was transpiring so um before ado um this is a flip side of the major so we have the major and the minder and it is a flip side i always do a reading showing the veil okay as you know my book removing the veil of illusion so i always do reading showing the veil okay so this is the first time i'm doing um layout on uh, um, the quarter layout so um people will be aware so what we see coming up uh, um the three months is uh, definitely water the energy of the star and the chariot and if you go back and listen to the year reading you will see that the eye princess has changed place with the lovers whatever the reason is she did not come out um so she changed place with the energy of the lovers which is also water energy and it's something to do with the lovers so the eye princess some sort of an intuition some sort of information that is going to be coming out about family okay and uh, um this is going to be affecting because it's about intuition and it's about inner reflection okay um so it's about the hidden the fantasizing um section meditation okay gazing it's about the um that you know she's indicating um something about your relationship in the month of october okay so some sort of a correction okay it's, it should be made follow your intuition and hunch about your relationship whatever is transpiring ladies and gentlemen just follow that in the month of october okay it is also about mediumship okay um automatic writing crystal gazing um that is good um some sort of a mysterious uh, situation hidden agendas um, that has to do with your partner, so be aware of this. Dreams and all men, some of you were dreaming and open for something um, to get married and that sort of thing. It could be happening in October. All right, um, seeing beyond the veil. Okay, so you're going to be, if you're in a relationship, you're going to be seeing um, what your partner, um, you know, what is the agenda of your partner? So be aware of this. And the unconscious mind, okay? So some of you listen to your intuition, okay? It, it, it's going to be very spiritual for some of you also, okay? And remember that the Iron Princess is about the virgin and the maiden, okay? The side of the women. So the vaginal, the that sort of a side of the woman. So what could be transparent is that a lot of you and... I, honestly if you're a virgin stay a virgin ladies and gentlemen there is nothing very nice about the rest of the world so if you're listening to this and you're a virgin i would advise you stay a virgin okay because right now what is coming up honey child stay a virgin okay man woman if you're a virgin just keep being a virgin trust me um Keep your keep your sanity okay that is going to be um shifting you to the fifth dimension so don't let anyone take your virginity it's, a, it's as if you came from the source uh, not being tossed by humanity or someone else's so if you're a virgin stay as a virgin trust me um for the next couple of years it, it's going to be better for all, like all the people who are virgin, your intuitions is going to be so open. You're going to be so clean because your best is clean because you have not slept with someone else and take on their energies, okay? So, oh wow, <laughs> wherever that came from. Uh, so, as I said, there is going to be some sort of a situation about hidden agenda um, with your partner uh, in your relationship, some sort of a hidden agenda. That is going to be coming up in October. Then we see a cycle is going to be over. Um, a relationship could be ending. Marriages could be ending. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Relationship and marriage could be ended. So yeah. Um, 
uh, the page of swords. However, this um, uh, is information that is going to be coming in that could be bringing an end and a cycle to some sort of a relationship or a marriage, okay? Some of you um, are going to be buying a new house in October. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some of you are going to be moving in October. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you are going to be finding a new job in October. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and that is going to be because um, it is it is just so powerful with the energy of the lovers. The energy of the lovers is in, is incredible. And why it is, it's, uh, it's about communicating with each other. Some sort of information, choices that you have to make with um, your marriage or relationship and love okay new love could be also coming in for some people so um that is a possibility so that is going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful then um the energy of the world in the month of october and i love the energy for of the world because it is the planet of saturn okay and the energy of the world is a completion it's expansion a completion to a situation or the expansion to something so I see some of you, the energy of the four of ones uh, um, mirroring um, what is transpiring. The four of ones energy that is mirroring is something to do with a house. So um, it's changing. Whenever Saturn comes in, it's definitely it is changing because it governs uh, the energy of the world. So a whole lot of changes is going to be coming up. And it has to do with uh, removing limitations, that sort of a thing, structures. Discipline is going to be coming back and wisdom and it, it, it is also the final goal. Okay, you could um, finish a study, complete a study. So that would be a, a lot that is going on for a lot of you. Com completing and fulfilling some sort of a um, situation. It could be work, it could be a project, it could be a business, uh, some sort of an interest. It could be a circle of friends also and knowledge. Okay. Um, it indicates also overseas travel, but it has nothing to do with travel because it has to do with a house or your business, okay? The four of ones always indicate the house or the business, okay? So um, whenever that energy comes up, it's about your foundation also. It's about celebrating and some good news is going to be coming in. And sometimes it's unexpected news. Some of you could be finding out that else was left for you or someone left a house for you. Um, and, and, and this always automatically comes up when people are not even aware that other people are so interested in them and for them to move forward, okay? So whenever the energy of the four comes up, it will always indicate some sort of a celebration, okay? So a celebration at a house, celebration at a um, a salary in street celebration of a promotion, celebration of a new job. Um, it donates always good news. Okay, so um, um, good news is going to be coming in about a house. Okay, unexpectedly, but welcome good news about how some of you may be living in an apartment. You wanted to buy your house or you wanted to get a new house or you want to change houses or something like that. Um, it is going to be happening, okay? And this is going to be good. Um, so some of you who were having a house situation is going to be resolved and good news is going to be coming in. Now we look at the energy of the tower and as each and every person know, the energy of the tower is always about something, release, release, you're releasing something, okay? Um, so whatever is being released is uh, uh, let it go. It gotta go. You have to let go of whatever is leaving your life, okay? Sometimes we hold on to um, fast on things. So some sort of upheaval um, up that is going to be happening. It's a Mars energy, okay? So the tower is a Mars energy and something unexpectedly is going to be happening. But it needs to happen because if you notice... Um, it, it, it needs to happen. So it has to do with a fire sign person in your life. And listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, let no one tell you um, that um, these um, um, people in the car that they're in, are, are energy, that they're, yeah, it's, it's a form of energy. 
No, um, it has to do with a fire sign person. Whoever this fire sign person is, so, um, some sort of an unexpected situation. If you were having some sort of a conflict, maybe it is your partner, maybe it's a relationship. So be aware of it. Some sort of an unexpected um, tower moment is going to be coming up, okay? And it is going to be affecting the people between the ages of 18 and 45. So be aware of that. For some of you, if you are in a relationship with these people, um, some sort of a, a changes is going to be coming up where um, they could be leaving your life or you could be leaving their life. It could be vice versa, okay? Because it's the veil of illusion. So that is October, all right? So we have water, hurt, and we have fire. So the month of October, water, hurt, and fire. And you have to be aware of this, okay? Then we're looking at December, uh, November. We have the energy of the star that is communication and inspiration, healing. It's going to be a good month for salespeople. Anyone in sales or work with public, waitress, receptionist, that sort of a thing. Um, you are going to be very successful in the month of November. Then we see the energy of the moon. And whenever the moon comes up, ladies and gentlemen, the star, right? And then the moon in the center, okay? Now, the moon in the center of this month, there is a lot of hidden things and deceptiveness that was going on, and it's going to be coming out. Um, and you can see it's in the center a lot. It is in the center, so it's affecting the marriage. It's affecting endings. A tower moment is coming down. Truths are coming out. Justice is here. Um, transition is here. So you see, um, and this is so powerful because you see an end to a cycle and transition is coming in. And it has to do um, with some sort of a legal issue for some of you. Some of you, it's going to be affecting doctors and that sort of a um, career people, surgeon and that sort of a career people. And we see the energy of uh, um, some sort of a situation, transition, um, some sort of a situation that is happening with traveling and some sort of a transition that is going to be coming in. So be aware of this. Okay. Um, so it's a lot that is happening and transpiring. Some of you wants to travel. Um, maybe it's not going to be, um, I see, um, some sort of communication is going to be coming in about travel. Okay. So when we look at November sales and some sort of a deceptiveness that was going on, but guess what? Truth is going to be coming out. And this is just so wonderful. Um, so some sort of a truth is going to be coming out. Some discernment, study something, look at something more, um, more deeply. The puzzles is going to be falling together. The energy of the hermit is just going to be so powerful, shedding light, revealing, analyzing, reevaluating situation. OK, um, that is going to be also coming up in the month of November. And this is going to be good because it has something to do with the family. OK, the secrets are with friends. OK, um, and uh, some of you, whatever is happening and, and, and what is transpiring, if some of you were having um, whatever the secrets and whatever um, the, um, the deceptiveness that was going on around you, you're going to be celebrating coming out of this. Okay. It's as if your angels and guides is going to be guiding you out of this. Uh, the hermit comes in to shed some sort of a light that remove uh, something that was blocking you. Okay. The false sight and the deceptiveness and uh, the hermit uh, comes in to shed lights on it. Now there could be some sort of a health problem, um, diet issues and that sort of a thing. Some sort of a significant problems also could be coming in um, with the health, okay? So when we look at the energy of the star and the emperor, the energy of the emperor has an Aries energy, okay? The emperor is aggressive, okay? Um, so be aware of that. The emperor energy is always aggressive and people in authority or people use their authority in a wrong way in order to um, create some sort of an imbalance for other people, okay? So it's aggression and strength. So you're using your powers in the wrong way. And I see that some of you are going to be successful over this um, person and this situation. So it could have been your boss that has been or 
someone use their powers over you and you're going to be successful over this person some sort of a secrecy around a cancer is going to be coming out um yes some sort of a secrecy and some sort of a deceptive move that a, a cancer have created is going to be coming out i see you guys are going to be celebrating celebrating over some um going out uh, um could be having dinners uh, um parties are not really happening but i see you guys are really you know um the consolation of fulfillment finding fulfillment in yourself and trying um so you know go to dance classes if dance class if you and or um or aerobic classes okay this is going to be good this is going to be helping a lot of you okay so i see a lot of alcohol drinking a lot of celebration people connecting together and that is going to be good in the month of november now truth something is going to be shared some sort of a situation is going to be shared on a family analyzation of a family is going to be coming up but it is okay um whatever the situation that is going to be shared on the family it is going to be okay because it's going to be super super good um um it's the the 10 um and it has to do with family so um some sort of information is going to be coming out um um, about the family okay and it is going to be good okay so um some of you could find out something about a fire sign person in the family okay but whoever this fire sign person is whether it's a relate you're in a relationship with this person or um either you're in a relationship with this person or this person is very dece deceiving and deceptive um i see they're going to be removed out of your life okay it could be a child for some of you so be aware of this but i see a happy family in november whenever it's happening november is thanksgiving so of course families are going to be coming together because november is thanksgiving so it's beautiful this is what i'm saying to you guys it's really a beautiful quarter then we are looking at December and some of you are going to be having some sort of a auto problem. Some of you are going to be buying a new car. Congratulations. Um, the possibility of buying a new car is going to be there. I, some of you are going to be traveling. Okay. Um, some of you are going to be having huge success and this is going to be good. Some new beginnings, which you could be receiving new contracts, starting a new job, okay? Go and look what is transpiring um, in the month of December for you in your own general region. Triumphant and success is definitely going to be here in um, December for you guys. But some of you definitely could be having, because you have the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you could be having some problems. You want to travel, but you do not have the money. Okay, because it is the energy of uh, the Ace of Pentacles, so it's one. And it's it's difficulty is going to be coming up, okay? So some of you wants to travel, but you don't have the money. Some of you want to buy a new car. Um, um, you will uh, get the assistance, okay, to buy the new car, but uh, traveling, it depends, okay? Um, there is some sort of a hardship um, with the traveling. So be aware of that. Some of you are going to be realizing um, that you cannot do either or the other, okay? So you really wanted to travel. You really wanted to um, like visit your family or, or that sort of a thing. But financially, it is not there. So be aware that you might have that sort of a situation going on financially it is not there so be aware of that okay then we see the energy of debt transition and this transition is coming up um uh, yeah it could be affecting surgeons um a some sort of a communication some sort of communication is going to be coming um to you some sort of a transition in communication is going to be coming to you okay so it could be communication from your mom okay uh some sort of a communication maybe from your boss um 
higher ups could be coming in and it could be letting you know of um there is not going to be some sort of a new start okay and it's as if uh, whatever the information you're receiving from this person is as if uh, they're not going to be changing um uh, whatever information it is it's as if they're not going to be changing their words okay so um, it comes up in different ways okay so it's transformation but it comes up in different ways so some sort of a communication is going to be coming in some sort of a transition is going to be coming in and um, some sort of a situation is going to be coming up for you guys then we have justice and um, we see the ace of ones in reverse for a family and it's going to be affecting the fire sign family people, okay? So whatever is happening and transpiring, especially for fire sign people between the ages of 18 and 45, some sort of a family issue that you were having, legal family issues, I see um, justice came in and I see they make a decision and they're not going to be changing their decision. All right, so, um, yeah, so, Whatever has transpired, you can see some sort of a um, decision is made uh, over a family. And it has to do with fire sign people. So fire sign people are going to be feeling um, some sort of a family crunch where some sort of a um, legal issue with a family is going to be coming in. And um, there is no new start for you and your family. So whoever you are. Fire signs between the age of 18 and 45, you're going to be feeling this, okay? So go back and listen to your readings to see what is happening, what is transpiring. So we're talking about the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. There's something about your family that just came down and there is not going to be a new start, okay? Especially lawyers, doctor, and surgeon, whatever is transpiring. Some of you surgeon could be sued, Okay, for something on that you see transition and the light has been shed on the family. Um, so some of you surgeon could be sued and this is why. Then I see um, um, some sort of a winning. Um, yeah, someone else is going to be winning over you fire sign people. And I see if you notice a tower moment with the fire sign and who is going to be affected if a Leo was affecting some of you in your life, this person is going to be removed once and for all. So if some of you, a Leo was affecting you in your life, you're going to be, um, yeah, this person is going to be removed out of your life once and for all. Okay. So it has to do with a fire sign. Leo and, um, Leo and Aries people are going to be caught up. Leo and Aries people, family are going to be caught up and i see justice is going to be coming down on the family and as if uh, they're saying we're not giving you any um um you're not going to be getting any like um you know second chance or that sort of a thing whatever has happened entrance so i see some sort of a secrecy that was held again so you're going to be successfully overcoming this and i see transition is going to be coming up and that is going to be good so what we're looking at with the energy of the lovers, secrecy, deceptiveness, and uh, um, here we have uh, this energy of justice, justice against uh, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person, and some of you are going to be celebrating over whoever these fire sign people are, and some of you are going to be having this new start, okay? So if you notice the V shape, how this is accomplished and associated, some sort of a deceptive relationship, um, deceptiveness um, with family in-laws and that sort of a thing you're going to be successfully overcoming and you're going to be very victorious moving forward then as we look at the side farm is that a cycle is going to be over and if you know some sort of a, um, a cycle is going to be over with a house so I see families are going to be moving in a new house and this is going to be absolutely fabulous okay so I see um, if you're looking for a new, uh, some sort of a um, information is going to be coming in and is going to be shedding light and is going to be helping a lot of you looking for um, and finding a very beautiful house. So then we see the energy of the tower has to do with some sort of a deceptiveness that was plain. 
a whole lot of you are going to be overcoming this some sort of a news is going to be coming in letting you know there is a, you're getting out of a, a, a situation that you were in some sort of a situation about traveling and i see you cancers might be um your can your travel agenda or travel thing might be canceled so cancers um yeah some sort of a travel that should have come up for you cancer it might be canceled at like you went to the airport and you realize that it's canceled so be aware of that okay um so it is about healing and it's about communication it's about inspiration but it's about um you know even agenda people who had ended agenda it's all going to be coming out and i see a new start is going to be happening for a lot of you and some sort of a transition is going to be coming up for a lot of you i see an end could be coming up for an aquarian gemini or libra whoever this person is whatever this person has done some sort of a transformation is going to be affecting the aquarians gemini and librans okay um let's see what kind of month is this uh that's eight seven so we have two um that's three nine ooh, four uh seven nine a whole lot of endings is coming up in this period a whole lot of endings so be aware of this and if you notice december is ending on justice okay justice against and there is going to is justice but it's not there's not going to be a new story it is as if a tower moment came up and they're going to be rebuilding this is a form of rebuilding okay so justice came up and it's ending the year with justice and rebuilding some sort of information is going to be coming out at the end of the year and it's not going to go back to the same but it's going to be rebuilt in another um way and this is going to be good it's a masculine feminine um it's a really half it is really masculine um feminine quarter so balance the left brain and the right brain balance your masculine and femininity because that is what is affecting um you in this quarter okay um then um what we're going to be looking at who is going to be affected in the month of October? We see the Cancer and Geminis it could be uh, relationships could be ending for the Cancers and Gemini. If Cancer and Geminis are in relationship or married together, um, that could be ending. Um, the Capricorns um, and the Hurt sign people could be buying and selling houses, moving a whole lot of you because um, the world affects a whole lot of people. So that is going to be good. Fire moment is going to be coming down for fire sign people between the age of 18 and 45. Um, the star is celebrating over someone who has used their powers over you. Deceptiveness about a cancer is going to be coming out and people who were working against you and collaborated against you. Truths is coming out about a family, and this family is a fire sign family, and, and the light is shed on this fire sign family. Um, overcoming situation um, with a situation to do with a car um, is going to be coming up a transition for the latest um, 50 years and older air sign people, that is Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra. Justice is going to be coming in. And some sort of a change is definitely going to be coming up. And a transition is going to be here. It is a very, very powerful, positive alignment of energies. It is really powerful. If you notice, it is as if the, these major arcana that is not connected with anyone. Okay, so Aquarian um neptune is there um and 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 this energy is more as uh, the uh, the general energy and i didn't pick them they just came out so it is as if major transmission you see tower you see justice you see the hermit shedding light on things that sort of a transformation and this is going to be happening please like and share these videos go and check out your own extended reading thumbs up in order for these videos to um um 
be placed in the algorithm of Google. I love you guys. Namaste. Thank you.